The ocean is a treasure trove of history, with wrecks being discovered that are full of artifacts, lost treasures and stories that we can only guess. Let's delve to the bottom of the ocean and learn more about some incredible wrecks. Graveyard of Ships, Teriboka, Arctic Ocean Teriboka is a small settlement on the northern shore of the Kola Peninsula, founded in the first half of the 17th century as a seasonal fishing base. It soon became a major fishing center, but it started to decline in the 1960s with the arrival of superships. The residents had no way to register the arrivals and departures of fishing vessels, which forced fishermen to pull in at the nearby regional capital, Murmansk. Today, the Graveyard of Ships is a tourist attraction in Russia. Sweepstakes, Tobamori, Ontario. Big Tub Harbor is the place to be if you're a diver. Just about three hours northwest of Toronto, this body of water is home to over 20 shipwrecks. It's sort of like the Bermuda Triangle of Ontario, Canada. It's hard for photos to do this one justice, but the star shipwreck has to be Sweepstakes, a Great Lakes schooner built in 1867 in Burlington, Ontario. In its heyday, it weighed 218 gross tons and was 119 feet long, or 36 meters. In the summer of 1885, Sweepstakes was hauling coal when it hit a rock in Cove Island. The ship eventually sank in the shallow waters. She was then towed to the nearby Big Tub Harbor by a tugboat called Jesse. Sweepstakes, however, was beyond repair, and she was eventually stripped of all her valuables. Today, you can take a boat to the wreckage, which will allow you to view the ship from its glass bottoms. Truck Lagoon, Micronesia this lagoon, just off the Caroline Islands in the South Pacific, has a very rich military history, which haunts Japan to this day. Hundreds of Japanese aircraft and other defense machines are lying at the bottom of this lagoon. The lagoon, with its low coral islands, is surrounded by a remarkable sheltered reef, making it ideal to house the Navy. On the 17th of February 1944, this lagoon became the setting of a surprise attack, resulting in several fleet carriers, support ships and 500 aircraft descending on the island. Today. Hundreds of Japanese aircraft and other machines remain at the bottom of the lagoon, making it one of the world's best dive sites to view wreckages from this crucial time in our history. As wreck divers brought attention to the site, Japan began recovery efforts and remains were removed and returned to Japan for proper burial. Diving in this underwater graveyard is very dangerous though, due to old oil and fuel that is in the water, as well as the state of the wreckages, which has been underwater for over half a century. Tangaluma Rex, Australia A paradise and must-see for any scuba diver or snorkeling enthusiast. Here on the Moreton Islands in Australia, you can feast your eyes on the Tangaluma Rex, which is a collection of 15 vessels deliberately sunk to form a break wall for small boats. This was done in 1963, when recreational boat owners expressed the need for a safe anchorage. Today, you can even swim to these incredible wreckages, as the area is close to the beach. What makes it extra special is the presence of unique marine life and different species of reef fish. HMS Vixen, Bermuda Built in England in 1864, then launched to sea three years later, the HMS Vixen was a behemoth boat, deemed to be slow and unseaworthy. Today, the Vixen is a well-known landmark as its bow sticks out of the narrow channel of Daniels Bay, where it was positioned to prevent torpedo attacks. In 1986, divers from the Bermuda Maritime Museum carried out an archaeological reconnaissance as they felt the vessel's engineering features were worth a study. Even though the ship was stripped of most of its valuables, Divers spent 13 weeks underwater to complete the project. During this time, they collected valuable data and incredible photographs. Jake Seaplane, Palau, Micronesia The Jake Seaplane sits atop a reef, looking like it's ready for takeoff. The plane, which seems to still be intact, allows divers to have a closer look at the cockpit to give you an idea what it was like to be a fighter pilot back in the day. Jake was a long-range reconnaissance seaplane used by the Imperial Japanese Navy from 1941 to 1945. Numerically, the most important float plane of the IJN. It could carry a crew of only three, but an explosive load of 250. Several wreckages can be spotted in this area, which is situated within one of the largest marine protected areas on the planet, making it a very popular diving spot. Divers will tell you that this is a spot you don't just visit once, but again and again and again. USS Kittiwaki, British Cayman Islands 
The USS Kitiwaki, a former submarine rescue ship, was intentionally sunk as an artificial reef in the British Cayman Islands. It was launched on July 10, 1945, and was decommissioned on September 30, 1994. Throughout its 49-year tenure, the 251-foot or 76-meter ship accompanied subs during sea trials and during missions, where the crew would practice underwater rescue missions. While many of its stories are still considered classified information, one of the Kitiwaki's best-known stories came right after the Challenger Space Shuttle disaster in 1986. The Department of Defense and U.S. Coast Guard were on a massive search for the spaceship's black box, and it was the Kitiwaki and her crew that eventually found it at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Sea Tiger Wreck, Honolulu Formerly a Chinese trading vessel, the Sea Tiger was seized in the early 90s for transporting nearly 100 illegal immigrants. Before the turn of the century, it was intentionally sent underwater, much to the diving community's delight. It is now one of the best places to see large populations of reef sharks, moray eels, and even sea turtles. Kose Plain Wreck, Oahu, Hawaii The Kose Wreck near Oahu, Hawaii is perhaps one of the most famous in the world, despite its small size because the plane is mostly intact. The plane ended up in the water during a routine mission in 1948 when its engine began to fail. The pilot was not even injured and the plane wasn't even damaged. That is one of the reasons why the wreckage is still so intact right down to its instruments. She had a soft landing but ended up at the bottom of the ocean. This is not a place for inexperienced divers as many precautions need to be taken, as the area is known for unpredictable currents and deadly stingrays. Zenobia, Larnaca, Cyprus This ferry never made it past her maiden voyage. The ship left the waters of Larnaca Bay in 1980 towards Syria, but as it got close to Greece, it experienced a software malfunction with its computer. This led to excess water being pumped inside the ballast tanks. The captain was ordered to get the ship out of the harbor, and she eventually sank. The vessel can be seen from between 50 and 140 feet below the surface. There were no casualties in this disaster. However, Zenobia sank with cargo worth millions on board. This too is a site only for experienced divers. SS Yongala, Australia This is Australia's largest shipwreck, located off the shores of Cape Bowling Green. The SS Yongala sank in 1911 during a cyclone. It was her 99th voyage in Australian waters. No life rafts from the ship were found after the storm, despite a seven-day search. It was two days after the cyclone that the SS Yongala was reported as missing. Authorities realized something was wrong when the vessel failed to return to Townsville. State resources were used to look for the wreckage, and even a reward was offered for information on its whereabouts. It took half a century before the wreck was discovered and identified in 1958. DC-3 and S-11 Airplane Wrecks Aruba The DC-3 and S-11 are two airplane wrecks originally sung to create an artificial reef. In 1999, Hurricane Lenny split the DC-3 in half, but the pieces are still intact, enough for divers to explore. This is a unique diving experience, allowing divers to swim into the wreckages. Divers going to Aruba cannot leave the reef without exploring this site. SS Thistlegorm, Egypt The next wreckage takes us to the Red Sea in Egypt, where tourists have spent millions to see this unique vessel with all its gear still intact. Divers can feast their eyes on two locomotives, army trucks, tanks, jeeps and motorbikes, and even rifles and boots. This British ship was classified as an armed freighter. It is one of the most popular and well-known diving sites in the world, complemented by great marine life, including a resident turtle. The Thistlegorm is a revered place, and people are asked to treat the area with the utmost respect to remember those that lost their all during conflict. Hilma Hooker, Caribbean Netherlands This vessel got all kinds of attention in the 80s as she was under surveillance by enforcement agencies. Hilma Hooker was built in the Netherlands and had several owners throughout the years. Hilma Hooker had engine problems at sea in the summer of 1984 and was towed to the port of Krellendijk in Bonaire. Local authorities boarded the ship where they discovered 11,000 kilograms of items that were not allowed aboard a vessel. The captain of the ship had no legal paperwork and the owners were never found. The ship languished under detention as ever for many months, and through general neglect of her hull, she began to take on considerable amounts of water. The owners were still not coming forward to claim the ship. On September 12, 1984, the Hilma Hooker began taking in water through her lower portholes, and at 9.08 a.m., she rolled over on her starboard side, where she disappeared within two minutes. The Hilma Hooker is regarded as one of the leading wreck diving sites in the Caribbean, according to Scuba Diving Travel Magazine. Have you ever dived any of these incredible wrecks? We'd love to hear all about it in the comments below.
One, B-29 Super Fortress, Lake Mead, USA. About 70 years ago, a B-29 Super Fortress crashed into Lake Mead, which is a man-made lake near the Las Vegas Strip in the U.S. state of Nevada. The wreckage itself was only discovered in 2001, and its exact location is a closely guarded secret. According to the National Park Service, this is a very rare and gigantic airplane that was far too complex for even Boeing to build. According to the park's archaeologist, Steve Darren, bringing the wreckage to the surface will be too risky, as it might fall apart. It will therefore remain underwater, unless the lake levels continue to drop. The airplane is listed on the National Register of Historic Places.